It is my great honor and pleasure to welcome you to the investiture ceremony for the John and Eileen Blumenshine Professor in CE, the Ivan Rachev Professor of Environmental Engineering, and the Ernest Barenberg Professor in Civil and Environmental Engineering. My name is Anna Barros, and I serve as the department's uh, head. One of the greatest joys in my role as head is to share in momentous occasions uh, such as these. And we are here today to recognize Professor Arif Masood, Professor Helen Buyan, as, and uh, Professor Jeffrey Rosler, and who will be respectively the Eileen uh, Blumenstein Professor, Ivan Rachev Professor, and Ernest Berenberg Professor. As we look forward to today's uh, ceremony, I would first like to introduce you to some very special people who are here to share in this uh, celebration. Professor Masood is joined today by his wife, uh, Komal Masood, his brother, uh, Tariq Masood, and his sister-in-law, Ambrin Tariq. Would Professor Masood's family please stand to be recognized? Professor Guyen is joined today by her husband, Lok Vu, and their son, Carl Vu. Would Professor Guyen's family please stand? <laughs> Professor Rosler is joined today by his wife, Sandra Rosler, their children, Samuel, Angela, and Bella Rosler, and his mother, Pam Rosler. Would Professor Rosler's family please rise to be recognized? <laughs> Without a doubt, balancing the demands of work with family responsibilities can be a challenge, and it wouldn't be possible without such a strong support system. Thank you all for your continued and unwavering support of our valued colleagues. CE thanks you. So now, considering the importance of named professorships and chairs to the University of Illinois, it is fitting that we begin this ceremony with remarks from a university perspective. We are honored to have with us uh, today Lisa Monda Amaya, Interim Vice Provost for Undergraduate Education designee at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Interim Vice Provost Monda Amaya provides campus-wide leadership in the area of undergraduate education, including setting strategic directions for the undergraduate experience at Illinois, supporting innovation in classroom and in online instruction, and encouraging interdisciplinary initiatives in curriculum and pedagogy. Collaborating with colleagues, with, with colleges, schools, and other stakeholders, she works to ensure that the undergraduate experience at Illinois continues to be one of the best in the nation. Please join me in welcoming Interim Vice Provost Monda Amaya. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. I love these events. I truly do. So thank you, Professor Barros, and thank you all for joining us this afternoon on this very special event. The investiture of some of our outstanding professors. As you'll hear today, this is an event that's very special to those of us in leadership positions. Um, it, it is such an opportunity to honor people who are making some amazing contributions. So today we're here to celebrate scholarship, education, and of course, very importantly, family. Endowed professorships are one of the highest honors the university confers upon its faculty members. Our faculty are the intellectual heart of our institution, and through investitures, we recognize their innovation and contributions and express our gratitude for their impact. I am honored to represent university leadership today to celebrate the investiture of three faculty members from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. I offer congratulations personally and be on behalf of Professor Kangalaris, Provost Kangalaris, to Professor Arif Masood as the John and Eileen Blumen, 
Blumenshine, sorry, professor, Professor Helen Wynn as the Ivan Rachev Professor, and Professor Jeffrey Raisler as the Ernest Baron Berenberg Professor. We're very grateful to the generosity of the Blumenshine family, the Ivan Rachev family, and the Berenberg family. And I know that Nancy Berenberg is here today. And just wanted to acknowledge <laughs> and say truly on behalf of campus, we are so grateful that you are here today to represent. Um, I would like to thank them for the resources they've provided through their endowment. Their contributions are an enduring tribute to their families, the institution, and to our faculty. It's an honor we don't take lightly, and we work to utilize these gifts to better serve our communities through exceptional scholarship, teaching, and outreach. Endowed chairs and professorships, like the ones awarded today, contribute to the university's capacity to play a transformational role in society. By endowing professorships, alumni directly support the individuals who carry these ideals forward. These professorships are the road to delivering our vision of Illinois as a preeminent public research university with a land-grant mission and a global impact. These gifts are direct investments in people, in their ideas, and in human potential. They open new avenues of exploration and debate. They serve as strategic tools for attracting and retaining top scholars. And it is outstanding in individuals like Professor Massoud, Professor Wynn, and Professor Raisler who are leading us forward. Once again, I congratulate you. This is a significant milestone as a faculty member. We look forward to even more achievements in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Interim Vice Provost Manda Amaya, for being here and for sharing uh, that valuable perspective. And now we're actually going to have a change in MC, and I should like to welcome Associate, Senior Associate Dean Philippe Gabel, who's going to continue with the ceremony. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, I guess I was told that since I have a tie, I was just planning to just sit in the audience and enjoy the moment, but I said, since you have a tie and to deserve whatever dinner we're going to afterwards, you better do some work. So here it is. So it's my pleasure to be here. I'm absolutely delighted to be here today. And, um, and we're going to start with the first uh, investiture. But before we move on to the investing, our first valued colleague, Arif Masood, I first like to share how this appointment came to be. John Blumenschein uh, received his bachelor's degree in civil engineering in 1950 and rose to the title of chief engineer with the U.S. Air Force. John and his wife, Eileen, lived in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, and upon, uh, and upon their passing in 2016, left sufficient unrestricted funds to the department to endow the, join, the John and Eileen Blumenschein professorship. The investiture to ceremony not only celebrates the outstanding professor being invested, but also demonstrates gratitude for the generosity of our remarkable donors. So as it is not possible for a short bio in an event program like the one you received uh, coming in today to tell us all that Arif Masood has done to be so deserving of this recognition, we are pleased to have his friend and colleague, Professor Glossio Polino, here to provide a more in-depth introduction. Professor Glossio Polino is a Margareta Engman Augustine Professor of Engineering at Princeton University. He is a prominent scholar in computational mechanics and has made numerous seminal contributions in a variety of areas of the mechanics and physics of solids and structures. These include multifunctional and functionally graded materials, origami engineering, topology optimization for large-scale multi-physics problem, and material design. 
Um, and also theoretical and, and computational fraction mechanics. He's well known of our community since he spent 15 years here in civil and environmental engineering before leaving us. Uh, he has many honors, and I just cite the fact that he is a member of the National Academy of Engineering. So please join me in welcoming Professor Polino to the stage. Thank you, Philip, very much for the kind introduction. Uh, Vice Provost uh, Manda Meyer, uh, Dean Rashid Bashir. Associate Dean uh, Philip Gubel, uh, Department Head Anna Barros, uh, members of the Masoud's family, members of uh, the Jeff Russell family, and members of uh, Ellen Guyan's uh, family, donors, members of the audience. I am uh, very happy to be here today. And uh, when I was invited uh, to speak about Professor Masood's work, I thought that uh, it was going to be an easy job because I know his work, I know him, I have known him for a long time. However, it uh, turned out to be a very difficult job because he has done so much and uh, has contributed to so many fields, as I will indicate during my speech. RF is a distinguished and a innovative researcher in the field of applied mechanics who has dedicated his professional career to theoretical developments underlying computational methods for both solid mechanics and uh, fluid mechanics. However, uh, many times uh, these methods are not stable. They do not, they do not work. Therefore, to address these problems, he has made the fundamental and the pioneering contributions to the development of uh, stabilized and the multi-scale finite element methods for nonlinear fluid and uh, solid mechanics. In general, most of us, we work just in the field of fluid mechanics or just solid mechanics. RF works in both, and uh, he has been uh, distinguished uh, in both fields. For example, recently he won the G.I. Taylor Medal from uh, the Society of Engineering Science that is uh, one of the most important uh, awards in the field of fluid mechanics. And recently also, he won uh, the Ted Belichko Medal from uh, the American Society of uh, Mechanical Engineers that is one of uh, the most important awards in the field of uh, solid mechanics. Some people can do it all. The underlying uh, philosophy of stabilized uh, methods is to strengthen the classical mathematical variational formulations. And in the variational multi-scale method that RF has pioneered, it is done via mathematical nesting of uh, the final scale physics in the coarse scale variational equations. How to understand this? Just think about a painting. For example, the Guernica painting by Pablo Picasso. At a distance, you only see the coarse scale of the painting, the main global features. However, as you come closer and closer to the painting, then uh, you can see all the details, the fine scale details. This is an analogy of what RF has done mathematically with the variational multi-scale method. He pursued this line of thought and presented some very creative ideas that have established an amazing body of work. Now let me point out a few areas where RF's work has had major impact. One of RF's most significant contributions is to the field of porous media flows. The mixed form of Darcy's equation requires elements that must satisfy a mathematical condition commonly termed in the mathematical literature as the HGF condition. RF presented a new stabilized method along with a priori stability estimates that were shown to be satisfied by a family of elements in two and three dimensions. These works constitute fundamental development of the theory of stabilized methods for porous media flows. Because of the wide applicability of porous flows in science and engineering in general, these papers have impacted a broad range of topics and are highly cited papers in this area. What about additive manufacturing? Relatively recently, RF has extended uh, these methods to problems involving anisotropic 
and the chemically reacting viscous flows diffusing through anisotropic elastic solids. This new class of stabilized mixture models is an essential building block of the emerging field of uh, additive manufacturing, 3D printing, that RF is pursuing uh, where fluid mechanics issues arise in a very non-conventional way. What about the medical field? RF leads an active program on cardiovascular blood flow mechanics where he is collaborating with cardiologists from the Heart Institute of Chicago and the cardiac surgeons from the Carl Hospital in Urbana. Blood artery interaction is an interesting problem as it involves an isotropic viscoelastic solid, the artery wall, that is coupled with a viscoelastic fluid in a highly pulsatile flow environment, the blood. In summary, RF developed novel generalizations of the incompressible model that works for a wide range of shear rates and created stabilized methods for optimal enforcement of the incompressibility of the elastic stretch tensor. These works are remarkable and show very good results for what is called the high Weissenberg number flows which has been an outstanding challenge in computational fluid mechanics. Due to RF's contributions, now we have reliable, patient-specific cardiovascular blood flow mechanics models. If uh, one day uh, we have to have this kind of study done in our hearts, let's make sure that we use RF's models because they are the best. <laughs> what about computer chips? RF uh, has a former student uh, that worked on turbulence models that further extended the VMS framework. They developed a general class of turbulence models for motivating and uh, deforming meshes for... <coughs> Sorry, they uh, developed a general class of turbulence models for moving meshes and deforming meshes at the same time for application to free surface flows and the fluid structure interaction. After completing his PhD, Ramon, the student uh, that worked with RF, he started working for Intel, where he is extending his PhD work to turbulence in microchannels for application to liquid uh, convection cooling in the advanced uh, Intel microchips. This is a relevant contribution of RF's research to numerical methods for fluid mechanics used in industrial practice. The aforementioned examples show that RF is a dedicated and very careful researcher who is focusing on topics that are fundamental to a number of important uh, research areas and uh, that he is having a very strong impact in all these areas. The practical relevance of RF's work is underscored by its implementation and uh, utilization in the computer codes of agencies such as the US, the United States Air Force, the Army Hydraulics Laboratory, Sandia, Sandia National Labs, and the BP Global. Finally, with the flexibility provided by the John and Eileen Blumenshine professorship, I think that RF will have lots of intellectual freedom to tackle new, challenging, very difficult problems, risky problems, and uh, I am looking forward to seeing your new breakthroughs in the field. Congratulations, Aref. Thank you, thank you, Glossio, for your remarks. So please uh, now join me in welcoming the Dean for the Granger College of Engineering, Rashid Bashir, for the investing of Professor Masood. All right, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Come on. We have such a wonderful crowd here. It is so nice to see all of you in person, so many of you. Uh, you know, this is a season of celebrations. We've been having uh, many award ceremonies and investitures, and it's just so wonderful to see everybody back in person. Um, I'm so glad to see many colleagues. Uh, thank you, uh, Glacia, for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, you can always come back here. I can say that in front of everyone here. You can always come back here. Uh, thank you, Anna, for your great leadership of the department. I saw Benito here earlier, too. Where is Benito? Thank you, Benito, for being here and your tremendous leadership. I think a lot of these 
positions that we are actually giving out today were actually probably set up around that time and were going through the process even back then when you when you had just stepped down. So I thank you for all of the all of the tremendous leaders. And I know Al is there. I see Al is there. Thank you, Al, for your leadership of the department. So again, uh, this is the, certainly one of the best parts of the job, which is to recognize our tremendous colleagues. Um, we have such um, uh, such high excellence uh, across our college, uh, especially in this great department. Last uh, Friday was it? We had a big celebration of the uh, building of the, of the of the bridge and the building opening, and it was just tremendous to see, um, you know, alums uh, from 1910, like families of alums, not themselves, but their grand. <laughs> yeah, that would have been you know, but maybe with the new cardiac models, that might be possible someday. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I think just the history and the, and, the, and the impact that this department has had, especially this is on the crown jewels of our college, and we're just so proud of all of our colleagues uh, from, the, from the department. Um, and I'm just so happy today to be able to recognize our three colleagues, Arif. Um, congratulations to everything you have done. Um, Jeff is here, and Helen also. So it's just so wonderful to be able to recognize uh, all three of you. Um, one thing I'll just mention uh, about Arif is this, uh, I think, tremendous uh, uh, sense of excellence. And we talk about that almost every time I see Arif. He reminds me that excellence is something that you can't achieve, that it's a journey. And you have to keep at it, and you have to keep at it. And if someday you think you have achieved it, then maybe something is not right. So I, I, whenever I think of that whole just uh, concept, I, I often think of Arif. So, so thank you. Um, and again, you can see the, the again, we'll, we'll talk about each of them, but uh, since we're talking about Arif right now, the tremendous impact of his foundational work, um, but then the, the, the connection to society and the impact of society, the, the, the impact on the practice. And I think this is what this department is known for. That's why it has always been top ranked. It's just not the foundational work alone, but also how it truly impacts the world. So I think this is exactly what makes our college so great and our department so great. So, Again, thank you. Thank you for all of your tremendous efforts, and thank you for your comments to help us uh, further understand it. Uh, now, please, um, uh, let's uh, you know, talk about RF a little bit more, but uh, we, it is my privilege and my honor to perform the official investing of Professor RF Masood as the John and Eileen Blumenshine Professor in Civil and Environmental Engineering. Uh, the investiture as a named professor um, is one of the highest honors that our faculty can receive. And today's investiture ceremony certainly reflects that dignity. Uh, on behalf of the Granger College of Engineering, let me say that we're just so extremely proud of Arif and all of his accomplishments. Uh, named faculty positions communicate this global eminence um, of our faculty to the world's academic uh, community. Uh, these positions empower us and empower the recipient to open new doors of discovery, to be able to go in new directions uh, through their brilliant scholarship and to really make an impact on humanity at large. Uh, these positions are critical in the retention and to attract world-class scholars, uh, in this case, uh, to keep RF with us uh, here uh, at the University of Illinois. Uh, today begins a new day for Professor Masood, one that encompasses and anticipates the yet unknown breakthrough knowledge uh, and the pioneering research that I know he will, he will make possible. This is only um, maybe halfway or maybe a third of the way through his career, so there's a lot more to come. Uh, and we're just so, uh, so thankful to the support of the generous donors like, like, the, like the Blooming Shines. Uh, today is a day to celebrate excellence, uh, it's a day to celebrate uh, 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 impact, um, excellence in teaching, research, service. Uh, so Professor Masood, would you please come forward and receive your medallion? Thank you, Rashid, for your kind words. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, I thank you all, uh, my friends, my colleagues, my family, my students, our administration, Dean Bashir, Associate Dean Gubal, uh, uh, our Vice Provost, Eliza Amaya, and our department head, Anna Barros, uh, for being here today and for making this a very memorable event for me. I also want to especially thank my friend, Professor Glasio Polinov for flying out here today, especially for this event and for all the generous remarks that you have. I'm truly uh, humbled and honored, and I thank, first of all, God Almighty, and then my department, the college, and the university for this great recognition and for the endowed professorship. Uh, events like this or moments like this arise because of uh, a long professional journey uh, that has its own stories of successes and failures, ups and downs. So it's also the moment to thank the individuals uh, who made this day happen. First of all, first and foremost, I would like to thank my colleagues from my Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, and especially the Structures Program. Uh, when I joined Urbana in 2006, I walked into a very vibrant mechanics and structures program that was led by Bob Dodds and Glacio Polino. I was given the opportunity to design new courses in mechanics, advanced courses in computational mechanics, and the system gave me complete flexibility to pursue my interests in theoretical and uh, computational and mathematical aspects of numerical methods, computational methods. So together with my students, I started working on a new class of methods, which later I named as a variational multi-scale discontinuous clerking class of methods for a variety of applications in fluid mechanics, solid mechanics, uh, computational medicine, additive manufacturing. And uh, these methods were applied to porous media flows, as Glacio mentioned, to chemically reacting flows, to multi-phase uh, multi flows, um, de uh, deriving models for turbulence, uh, blood R2 interaction, uh, fluid structure interaction, and lately we are applying it to uh, process modeling in polymeric and cementitious materials. So these works uh, sort of form building blocks for tackling the more uh, uh, problem, bigger problems in infrastructure, health, and environment. And these works have appeared on uh, front pages, cover pages of two international magazines, and it, uh, they were also highlighted uh, in the PCAST report, and it's uh, on America's 21st century grand challenges. And this is a report uh, prepared by President's Council on Science and Technology for the Executive Office of the President of USA. These awards are also uh, not possible if you don't have a dedicated team of students. And I was very fortunate that the highest rankings of my department attracted some of the best talent to my department. I was able to uh, engage some of them in my research program. So I definitely share this award with all of my students. Some of them are now in faculty positions and in the, uh, in the USA and, and abroad. Uh, these awards are also made possible by the generous donors who put their trust in us. So I want to thank the Blumenschein family and especially John and Eileen Blumenschein for making this endowment uh, professorship possible. So thank you very much. Uh, I have my uh, brother, Tariq Masood, here. And had this function taken place a couple of months back, my mom would have also uh, attended it because she was visiting us from Pakistan. And I see some of my friends here from the larger Urbana community, uh, Dr. Ikram, Dr. Sohail, Dr. Salman, Dr. Rizwan. Their families, them and their families were our extended family here at Urbana, and on behalf of my family, I appreciate, deeply appreciate that. Uh, my wife is here, Komal, and uh, I uh, thank her for uh, accepting the life and limitations of a professor. <laughs> <laughs> she has always wondered that somebody who is sort of fairly disorganized, how can he do organized research and systematic research? <laughs> So when she came to know that I was working on turbulence and I proposed a new turbulence model, she immediately thought that I have put my chaos in the chaos of fluid mechanics and that's the new model that I've proposed. <laughs> so it took me some time to explain to her that beneath chaos, there is still an order and through mathematics, you can take a look at that and you can appreciate it. But when it comes to organizing my desk at my home office, she doesn't buy my argument. I still have to organize my desk every so often. Uh, my daughter, Maryam, uh, she couldn't be here with us. Uh, she is a third year uh, medical student at Feinberg School of Medicine at uh, Northwestern University. 
and the rigor of uh, surgery rotation didn't make it possible for her to be here. Uh, Mariam is a, a summa cum laude and bronze tablet from University of Illinois. And me and my wife, we consider it to be one of the most cherished and prized rewards that we have from, uh, for, for being here at Illinois. Uh, I thank both of them for um, letting me pursue my passion in research. There have been very few days, hardly any days, that they have seen me sitting after dinner uh, without my laptop or without a yellow pad and a pen, even watching TV. So I remember uh, once my daughter, when she was a child, she said, Dad, you finally strike out most of the stuff that you write. So why do you write to begin with? <laughs> And I said, sweetie, I think you've got a very good point. Uh, I think she finally figured out that that is probably the nature of my work because she has not asked that question in some time now. Uh, lastly, I would like to congratulate my colleagues, Helen Nguyen and Jeff Rosler, for their awards that they're going to get this afternoon. So once again, I thank you all for being here and for making this a very memorable event for me and my family. Thank you. Thank you, Arif, for your remarks and congratulations again on this accomplishment. So before we move on to the investing of our second valued colleague, Helen Green, uh, I first would like to share with you how this appointment came to be. Uh, Ivan Rachev, an immigrant from Bulgaria, became a preeminent American industrialist and dedicated con conservationist. Rachev entered the University of Illinois in 1914 studying first engineering, then chemistry, and graduating with a bachelor's degree in liberal arts in 1917. After serving in World War I, Ivan returned to, Ch to Chicago and established the Rachev Metallurgical Laboratory and a consulting practice. Following his death in 1982, the university received nearly $5 million from his estate. A portion of these proceeds endowed the Ivan, Rach Ivan Rachev professorship in environmental engineering to recognize his lifelong interest in the environment in the study of research of the effect of pollution and pollutants on the environment. So why Helen Green? Once again, the, last, the, the large number of accomplishments that uh, she can point to uh, cannot be contained in a very short uh, <clears throat> Uh, event program. So therefore, to help us with this, uh, I'm happy to have her friend and colleague, Professor Benito Marinas, uh, here to provide a more in-depth introduction. Benito is Ivan Rachev Professor of in Environmental Engineering, and he was the 15th head of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at UIUC. He joined the department faculty in 1995, so I'll let you count how many years he's been here. Um, he has taught graduate and undergraduate courses covering various fundamental laboratory experiment, experimentation and design aspects of environmental engineering and science with particular emphasis in physical chemical treatment processes for water quality control. So please join me in, prof in welcoming Professor Marinas to the stage. Wait, ah, right there. Ah. Thank you, Philippe. Hello, everyone. It is a great honor to have this opportunity to provide some comments about why Professor Tang Hoon Wang, Helen Wang, is most deserving of recognition with the Ivan Rachev Endowed Professorship in Environmental Engineering. Professor Wang is originally from Vietnam, but her academic training and career has made her an accomplished global citizen. Her initial academic training was in geology and earth sciences. She has a bachelor's degree in geology from the Ivan Franco State University, now National University, in Lviv, or Lviv, like we say in the US, Ukraine. I, I'm sure you all heard about that town for some bad reasons, but 
And she has an MS degree in Earth and Environmental Sciences from our sister institution, University of Illinois, Chicago. Exposure to that and environmental issues there at UIC made Professor Wen decide to continue her education in environmental engineering. She earned a second MS degree and a PhD from the Johns Hopkins University and did a postdoc at Yale University. The research focus of, uh, for her impactful, quite impactful early work was investigating the fade and transport. Those of you that don't know, fade and transport is where things go and what happened to them of black carbon. Uh, those of you that don't know about black carbon, think about smoke that comes from combustion or from the fires that we're having more prominent in the West. And of course, those particles affect human health, so it's very important to know where they go and what happened to them. And later in her postdoc, she started to her interest in biology and look at the fate and transport of DNA, what happened with DNA fragments that could actually transfer from pathogens to other microorganisms that could, for example, become pathogenic as well. So something very important that she did very early on. During her postdoctoral studies, Professor Wen applied for a faculty position at Illinois. Uh, I was the chair of the search committee and recall that we identified her as the top candidate in the applicant pool and that we were thrilled when she accepted our offer. During her 15 years at Illinois, Professor Wen has developed a thriving internationally recognized research and education program, focusing on advancing our fundamental understanding about the fate and transport that, that was her constant uh, in everything that she has done, all the amazing things that she has done. But now she started to work with something more complex as full pathogens, not DNA only, in natural and engineer systems. And she applied this new fundamental knowledge toward protecting the public health. Professor Guang is a pioneer in our department, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, in bringing public health engineering to us. It would take more than a few minutes allotted to my remark to summarize all of the amazing contributions by Professor Guang, and so I will illustrate them with some of her recent impactful work that hopefully you will relate to. Working with her students and collaborator, Dr. Guang has elucidated key interactions that take place between the biomolecules in pathogens and receptors in human cells that are responsible for starting infection and eventually producing symptoms of a disease. She has then used this knowledge to incorporate the receptor molecules mimicking uh, those in the human cells into uh, treatment and sensor technologies platforms for the control and detection of pathogens. And she has done that very creatively and very efficiently. In the last couple of years, as you can imagine, without expertise, uh, she has focused uh, these efforts toward coronavirus and uh, um, you know the, the virus that is responsible for COVID. And she has made some uh, mild souls contributions uh, toward uh, helping us, and I'm going to be referring to that a little bit later. Dr. Wang was promoted to full professor in 2019, relatively recently, just before the pandemic, and just two weeks after her promotion was effective, the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department Awards Committee recommended unanimously and with great excitement that we recognize Professor Wen excellence with an endowed professorship. I was the department head and I was, uh, you know, delighted. So to illustrate the amazing productivity of Professor Wen, I would like to use two of the key indicators of excellence from the letter of nomination that I prepared with great help from our colleagues, Professor Rosa Espinosa Marcel. Professor Gwen at that time had 70 plus publications in top tier journals and had graduated 10 PhD students that co-authored most of those papers with her. But the point I want to make is that today, a little over two and a half years later, after the recommendation uh, to recognize Dr. Wen, this indicator had all increased by a factor of 50%. She has 110 plus publications in top tier journals and has graduated five more PhD students for a total of 15. Many of these PhD students are in academic position. So she's having a huge impact on that respect as well. You know, I think that if COVID would have forced us to further postpone this investiture for another couple of years, undoubtedly this uh, indicator would have been at least 50%, perhaps 
based on her exponential growth, 100% up. And our department would have had to reconsider or uh, consider renominating Professor Wang for a higher level of excellence. So, uh, Helen, uh, that, uh, that we're not doing so might be your fault eh, for uh, you know, help contributing so wonderfully uh, to the COVID problems that we have had and now allowing us to get together so soon. So uh, uh, you have something to blame there, but uh, I'm sure this is going to come to you. Before had COVID related work, Professor Wang uh, was interested in doing uh, you know, high impact research toward solving other very important societal problems and, and overcoming some uh, global grand challenges. While she continues to further knowledge about path and biology in the fundamental front, she is continuously redirect redirecting the focus of her research to answer her call for practical impact. For example, Professor Wang is working on providing access to safe drinking water to people in developing countries suffering from poverty, in many cases exacerbated by natural disasters. She has helped rebuild the water supply infrastructure de devastated by the 2015 earthquake in Nepal, and she has provided access to safe drinking water to some of the poorest people in the world living in the slums of Kampala, Uganda, in East Africa. You know, perhaps, you know, the one quality that I admire the most about Professor Wang is her ability to express empathy. I think that it's very important for us to have someone like that surrounding us, empathy and compassion for the vulnerable people suffering discrimination. As chair of our environmental engineering and science program, she did that for four years. Professor Wang expressed passionate support for our students, staff, and faculty during the very awful initial racist episodes of Asian hate that we have all witnessed. She gave all of us strength and optimism by expressing that hate will not prevail and that she had the back of everyone feeling vulnerable. And it was very wonderful. It was very appreciated by our students. I'm so grateful, Helen, that you did that. Most recently, Professor Wang has also helped organize a fundraiser to help people in Ukraine. You saw that she has a connection there in her education. They are suffering a senseless, cruel, and devastating war. Once again, she provided a strong support and expressed empathy for our students, staff, and faculty distress because of having family and friends in mortal danger in Ukraine and some of them losing their lives. Helen, our university and our world are better places thanks to your scholarly excellence, societal impact, empathy, and compassion. You make us all proud to have you as a colleague at Illinois. Thanks for inspiring us, and congratulations to you and to our two other outstanding and dear colleagues, Professor Arif Masood and Jeff Ressler. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Benito. Uh, now I'd like to call again to the stage my boss, Rashid Bashir. Thank you, Philippe. What he doesn't say is that I really work for him, actually, and he tells me where to go, and I think we're all good. So we make a great team. Thank you, Philippe. Um, again, thank you um, for all of you for being here, and it's my really pleasure to acknowledge uh, Helen Nguyen for all of her contributions. Um, I just want to say a few things. So I've interacted with Helen actually quite a bit over the last few years, especially as she really stepped up to respond to um, uh, the COVID pandemic. Uh, I think one thing that I also want to mention is that she also played a critical role to providing PPE. She really got, was part of the group, led the group uh, across multiple departments and hospitals at OSF and CARL to really pull us all together uh, to, to whether 3D print or uh, other ways of additively manufacturing uh, PPEs. So I think that was also a great contribution and uh, along with everything else that was mentioned by Benito. So thank you, Benito, for, for, uh, for, uh, for mentioning her contributions. Um, I think uh, the one other thing about Helen, I'll just say, is just her uh, infectious uh, enthusiasm. Whenever I talk to her, I just have to tell her, slow down a little bit so that I can keep up. But uh, I think, uh, you know, I look forward to continuing to actually 
to actually work with you and hopefully write proposals together someday. Um, it is really uh, my privilege and honor to perform this official uh, investing of Professor Helen Newman as the Ivan Rachev Professor of Environmental Engineering. Uh, also, when I just mentioned, I'll go off script again, um, the Ivan Rachev Professorship. So again, you know, 1917. So um, I just want to take a moment again to acknowledge and have us all think about uh, the long-term impact of our alums and our graduates and the people who passed through these walls uh, and, and this great institution and this great department. Um, the Ivan Retcher professorships are actually in material science and engineering also and in, and in civil and environmental engineering. But uh, uh, you know what we do today will stay with us for the next centuries to come. So. Uh, today begins a new day for Helen. We're just so proud of everything that she's, that she's accomplished. Uh, and on behalf of the entire Granger College of Engineering and the University of Illinois, uh, congratulations. Uh, today is a new day, one that encompasses and anticipates the yet unknown breakthrough knowledge and pioneering research that will be made possible through the generous supports of donors like, like Evan Reshef. Uh, Professor Newen, would you please come forward to receive your medallion? Dear colleagues, students, um, friends, and families, I am very honored and humbled to receive these recognitions today together with my colleague Arif and Jeff. Sharing this event with them makes me three times more popular. Um, <laughs> we got the same medan, but I got flowers. So students, remember that if you have female collaborators, they didn't do it for you. <laughs> I am incredibly grateful uh, to the University of Illinois, the Granger College of Engineering, and the CE department for providing, uh, providing me with a much more excellent environment to develop my um, career. And Dean Bashir, thank you for your inspiring uh, research, um, pathogen research, which set the standard for my uh, research. And yes, we are writing proposals. <laughs> and you do contribute. <laughs> um, so many people across the world that helped me to get to the place uh, today in my career. I so wish my mom, Dr. Seung Vu, could be here with us today. She um, has always been my role model. Uh, she survived my dad's Fantan accident uh, to raise me, um, three years old toddler, and my son, nine, um, nine months old. Um, I, and my brother, nine, um, and he was only nine months old um, baby. Uh, and at that point, she was only 29 years old. Um, without her sacrifice, I could not be here today. I am so grateful for uh, my husband, Dr. Lok Vu. Um, when we just met, the first thing he told me that, go and get a PhD degree in environment in engineering from a top 10 university. And I did not have any engineering education at that time. So um, he saw in me the ability and he had been supportive me uh, all of the year. And I'm so grateful for you, Kong Vu, um, for being well behaved in so many <laughs> faculty meetings. I drug him there for 10 years when I single parenting him. And I hope, Con, you will behave forever. <laughs> I'm thankful for my teachers and mentors over the years. My former PhD advisor, Bin Bon, taught me that 99.99% .99 mass balance is not good enough. <laughs> Luckily, I went to Mini Emelec and who taught me focus, intensity, and productivity. I thank Benito Marinas, Anne Valocchi, Charlie Worth, and other colleagues 
um, who somehow convinced Bob Dodds, who was our department head at that point, to hire me. Um, despite that, I found the very first interview questions. Bob Dodds um, walked me into the Newmark building, pointing out at the Newmark portrait and asked me, do you know Nathan Newmark? And I honestly said, I never heard of him. <laughs> And Bob said, and you want a job here? <laughs> but um, um, to make up so to that risky hire, you know, Benito, Charlie, on and on other colleagues uh, provided me with wonderful mentoring that I'm very uh, thankful for. And Benito, I thankfully blame you for my career because you talked me into working on pathogen 10 minutes into my interview. I did not talk, <laughs> thought about pathogen at that point. And by doing that, Benito turned me into his closest competitors. <laughs> I am thankful for Joanna Sisler, who taught me molecular virology and uh, inducing me to Jean Robinson. Jean, you gave me my second Illinois home at IGB, allowing, uh, allowing me to learn from Rachel Becky, Carla, and so many other IGB colleagues. I love Illinois because every time I need to answer a question, I find a world-class expert who is willing to work with, with us. Every time I approach some, a colleague, it's always, okay, Helen, let's try. I thank Gary Aden and Steve Bopard for allowing me to um, bring in their all tools to solve environmental problems. From the bottom of my heart, I am grateful to all of my graduate, undergraduate, and postdoc students who endure me as a relentless and demanding advisor over the year. Guys, I know I never let you feel comfortable in your work with me. I am incredibly proud of my students who are establishing themselves as a successful professionals around the world. And by the way, I already lost a grant to my former students. <laughs> Finally, I dedicate my success to the people in Ukraine who took me in as their student, daughter, and friend for five years. Uh, when I received my undergraduate education, I would not be here today uh, without them. It broke my heart to observe how Ukrainian people are now suffering in a war that should never happen. I wish peace, um, safety for everyone in Ukraine and everywhere else on earth. In peace, together, we can do so much more to prevent infectious disease, reduce the impact of climate change, and many other challenges facing humanity. Thank you. Thank you, Helen, and congratulations again. Um, so before we move on to the investing of our third valued colleague, uh, Jeffrey Bersler, um, I would like to say a few words about where the endowment comes from. Uh, Ernest J. Berenberg earned his PhD in civil engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, then taught and conducted research in transportation facilities at UIUC for more than 40 years. Professor Barenberg's appointment at Illinois included a four-year term as the Associate Head of Civil Engineering, coordinating the departmental graduate students and research programs. For three years, he also maintained a joint appointment at CERL, uh, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Construction Engineering Research Laboratory. In 1983, Professor Barenberg restarted the Railway Civil Engineering Program at UIUC, and served as director of the Association of American Railroads Affiliate Program from its inception in 1983 through 1998. His primary interests were railroad track systems, especially concrete ties. He also served as an associate director of the Federal Aviation Administration Center of Excellence for Airport Technology for eight years. In 2019, the department established the Ernest 
J. Barnberg Faculty Fund to recognize Professor Barnberg's service to the department and the industry. 30 individuals and groups have contributed to the fund to enable it to endow the Ernest Barnberg Professorship, some of whom are here today. Among those contributors, several in individuals were key enablers of this endowment, specifically Nancy and Ernie Barnberg of Urbana, Illinois, and Nancy has a bachelor's and master's, has bachelor's and master's degrees in nursing from the University of Illinois at Chicago, as well as a master's and PhD in physiology from the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. She served as an advanced practice nurse with Carl Medical Group and as assistant clinical professor at UIC's College of Nursing. Barry and Pauline Dempsey of Whiteheath, Illinois. Barry is Professor Emeritus in the department and has and an active fundraiser for the department. He is also a three-degree alumnus of the department. Shiraz and Andrea Tayabji of Fulton, Maryland. Shiraz uh, earned his, his master's and PhD in civil engineering in 72 and 75, respectively. He was president of Advanced Concrete Pavement Consultancy for several years and continue and continues to consult on a part-time basis. Joseph Pound of Sullivan, Illinois. Joe is a 1959 graduate of the department. Joe and his wife, the late Joan Pound, uh, were close friends with Ernie and Nancy, spending time together in the UK and in Botswana. Okay. Uh, Charlie and Sarah Greer of Dunwoody, Georgia, uh, Charlie earned his bachelor's in 1971, master's in 73 from the department, and spent over 38 years with Law Engineering MacTech as Director of Quality Assurance. Charlie is now an adjunct lecturer within civil and environmental engineering. So Jeffrey Rosley will be the inaugural holder of this professorship. As it is the first time we are awarding this professorship, we have a shadow box to present to Nancy Barenberg. I would like to invite Dean Bashir to the stage to make the presentation. Thank you very much, Philippe. And again, as uh, Philippe mentioned all the names, we're just so thankful for all of the donors to make, um, to make possible this, this professorship. And we're just so delighted, so happy that Nancy is here with us. Would you please come to the stage, Nancy? This is a shadow box uh, that is a replica of, of the medallion that uh, Jeff would be getting. Thank you so much. Thank you. I want to first thank uh, Barry Dempsey, who actually wrote the description and got the professorship or the faculty fund organized and was fundamental in getting it funded. He uh, worked tirelessly to get this whole thing done. Ernie was blessed to have extraordinary colleagues, Barry, Marshall Thompson, Marlon Heron, that really developed the transportation group. It was a really special group of people. I'm grateful that he had those for colleagues. Excuse me, I was my grandson's graduation in Alabama, and the pollen levels were sky high. <clears throat> the other thing, I, I want to thank them and all the friends and colleagues who contributed the bulk, the bulk of the money for the professorship. And lastly, a thanks to Benito for pushing forward the announcement and the awarding of the professorship to Jeff as the, the fall before Ernie died in January. So I'm so very grateful that he was able to enjoy it. He was pleased and honored and delighted that he's one of his last PhD students, Jeff, received the award. So thank you for all for your
Thank you very much, Dr. Barenberg. So again, um, it is very hard to summarize in a event program all the accomplishment that uh, Jeff has done to, this, to be so deserving of this recognition. So we are pleased to have his friend and colleague, Professor Lev Kazanovich, uh, here to provide a more in-depth introduction. Lev Kazanovich is the Anthony uh, Gill, or Jill, uh, chair, professor in the Department of Civil Environmental Engineering at the University of Pittsburgh since 2016. Prior to this, he was professor at the University of Minnesota from 2003 to 2016. Dr. Kazanovich has been involved in various aspects of pavement research, design eva and evaluation, including performance prediction modeling, non-destructive testing, and finite element modeling of slabs on grade. He earned a PhD degree in civil and uh, engineering from the University of Illinois in 1994. So please join me in welcoming Professor Kathanovich. Good afternoon. It's a great pleasure to be here today and have an opportunity to make a few br brief remarks about my friend, <coughs> Professor Jeff Rosler. Jeff was one of the last PhD students of Professor Bernberg and one of his favorites. Jeff got his PhD in 1998, and after spending three years as a postdoc at Berkeley, he came back to Illinois to replace retiring Professor Berenberg. For more than 20 years, Jeff has been maintaining Professor Berenberg's <coughs> legacy and continues the University of Illinois tradition of being the best payment engineering program in the world. I would like to congratulate Jeff <coughs> with this uh, <coughs> <coughs> on this <coughs> well-deserved award. Also, would like to congratulate his wife, <coughs> Sandra, who supported him all these years. Professor Berenberg once told me, a good payment researcher maxes, uh, must excel in the, in, in the theory, in the lab, and in the field. Who in the world is better in all these <coughs> areas than Jeff? Professor Berenberg revolutionized mechanistic empirical design of concrete payments. Jeff's work addresses many critical contemporary issues in the design of concrete payments and overlays. He revised the Illinois DIT design procedure developed by Professor Berenberg. Jeff's research on fracture of concrete significantly advanced our understanding of on how cracks in concrete payments initiate and propagate. Professor Berenbeck introduced, introduced new concrete mixes to payment practice. Jeff's work on application of fibers make concrete payments less brittle and prevent cracks from <clears throat> deterioration. Jeff's research on lightweight aggregates make payments more durable and smooth. His study of new <clears throat> type of mixtures make our payment greener, smoother, longer lasting, and safer. <clears throat> Many innovative payment solutions have been implemented only after Professor Berenberg had demonstrated their viability in the lab. Jeff continues this tradition. <clears throat> to give an example, several years ago, engineers in Chile invented a new type of payment, thin short slab and concrete that compete with asphalt payments on initial cost but last longer. To prove that this innovation works, Ask Professor <coughs> Rosler to test the invention in the lab <coughs> tool. The results of those unique full-scale experiments convinced many agencies in South America to build this type of payment. Recently, private companies in the United States, such as Home Depot, started building this type of payments at their facilities, saving money and reducing the <coughs> carbon, <coughs> carbon footprint. <laughs> Professor Berenberg was one of the most respected concrete payment engineers in the world. Today, this distinction belongs to Professor <coughs> Rosler. Jeff served as the president of the International Society for Concrete Payments, the society founded by Professor Berenberg, who served as its, its first president. Jeff is not only a decorated researcher and educator, but he is an internationally recognized expert who was, who was invited to serve as a consultant on many 
any major highway and field construction projects in the United States, South America, Asia, and Australia. One of the most important legacies of Professor Berenbeck is his students, who, like Professor <coughs> Rostler, are the world leaders in payment engineering. In his turn, Professor Rostler has developed an outstanding program preparing tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's <coughs> leaders in the field. His former students hold faculty position at the leading universities in the United States, South America, and Asia, who assumed <coughs> leadership positions in the government, design, and construction companies in the United States and around the world. While amassing great <coughs> accomplishments throughout his career, Jeff remains uh, very humble and <coughs> personable. He is a devoted husband, a loving father, and a reliable friend. To summarize, nobody deserved the, the Professor Bernabeu's chair more than Professor <coughs> Rosler. The University of Illinois and payment community are lucky to have him. <coughs> Faculty like Professor Rosler ensure that the University of Illinois will remain the world leader in civil engineering. Thank you uh, for your attention and congratulations to Jeff. Thank you. Well, thank you, Professor Kazanovic, uh, for your remarks. Um, again, Dean Bashir for the official oh, investing. Right here. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Kazanovic, for flying over here uh, to recognize your friend and your colleague. Really appreciate it. Let's see where. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to make icon. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, so, again, I want to also congratulate from, from, from uh, my perspective. Uh, uh, Jeff and his family. Jeff, thank you for your contributions, for everything you've done. Uh, I know you've been a great uh, servant to the department also, so thank you for your service, for being the associate head right now, um, and for all of the things you have done. So again, you can see a great example of, of not only the foundational work, but then the, the, the translation and the reduction to practice in terms of the impact of that work. So thank you so much. Um, it's really my privilege and honor to perform the official investing of Professor Jeffrey Rossler as the inaugural holder of the Ernest Berenberg Professor in Civil and Environmental Engineering. And I want to also just again acknowledge one more time Benito for making sure that this gets done. And this was announced um, you know, um, uh, before uh, Professor Berenberg passed away. So thank you. Thank you, Nancy, for being here again. Uh, on behalf of the Granger College of Engineering, let me say that we're just so extremely proud of you, Jeff, and for everything you've done. And today begins a new day. Uh, for you, uh, you can change your business card if you haven't already. Um, maybe you have, but a year or two ago. But anyway, since that's when this was actually official. But uh, uh, today begins a new day for you, one that encompasses and anticipates the yet unknown breakthrough knowledge and pioneering research that I know uh, is going to be made possible uh, through the support of generous donors like those who have contributed to make this professorship possible. Uh, Professor Rosler, would you please come forward to receive your medallion? Thank you, everyone. Uh, it's humbling to be the last one to speak and hear so many great things about my two colleagues um, before me. Um, Vice Provost Manda Maya, uh, Dean Bashir, Executive Associate Dean Gabel, uh, Department Head Ana Barros. Uh, thank you for this recognition award. Um, it's very, I'm very happy and delighted to receive this. Uh, invited guests here, my faculty, colleagues, family, and friends that have come here and particularly the donors that have also come here and made this happen to celebrate this time with me and, and other friends and family, as well as I want to congratulate uh, Professor Masood and Professor Wen for, for uh, their accomplishments and recognitions today. Thank you. 
Um, I'm really blessed to be in this position to see, receive this award. I was actually quite surprised when I got it. I wasn't really expecting that uh, award to, ha to be named the inaugural uh, Bar Professor Ernest Berenberg uh, Professorship. So it was quite a surprise and I'm truly humbled. Just a few remarks today. Um, I just wanna express my gratefulness. Number one, uh, the people that made this happen, uh, we all know that it's not just our great ideas that make it happen. It's a lot of people, including this, the great students we have here. Um, and really the research culture here that really um, creates great innovation and knowledge that is really um, a, is seated here at the University Granger College of Engineering and the Department of Civil Engineering. Um, really this campus has all those uh, aspects and I'm, I'm glad to participate and be engaged for the last, uh, well, when I was a student and now as a faculty member. Um, I also wanna thank the Lord God who ultimately opened doors for me to come here initially as a 18 year old freshman and also uh, closed doors at times as well as opened doors to meet my wife here in uh, 1993 as a graduate student. Um, really, I. I in uh, 1988, I was just hoping and praying I could make it in the University of Illinois because I knew if I got in here, uh, my life would be quite different. I wasn't sure what it would look like, but I thought it would be different. Um, and uh, I had to convince the uh, academic counselor not to put me in remedial chemistry. Uh, I was not sure. I, sh I, I was kind of thinking I should be in remedial chemistry, but I said, I'm going to fail doing engineering. I'm going to fail. I'm not going to start at uh, negative one. Um, I'd like to express my thanks to my wife. Um, she'd been with me uh, during the time I was getting my PhD and I told her we'd get married when I got done and it just kept uh, taking longer and longer. Um, but uh, she, I, I thank her for her support, understanding, love during this uh, academic journey. Uh, like my colleagues, she knows how much I like to go to work in the morning and, and think about uh, research problems. And she put her career on hold as a civil engineer for a time to let me pursue my passion. So I'm forever grateful for that. She also um, uh, freely gives me the necessary feedback when I'm getting out of balance. So I appreciate that also. I didn't appreciate that early on, but I do much, <laughs> much do, do that early on. I'm thankful for my three kids, Angela, Samuel, and Bella. Um, really, they're the joy of my life. and. Uh, Glad they could be here today. Um, also, uh, my mom is here, um, Pam Raisler. Thank you uh, for her demonstration of learning, um, op optimistic attitude, grit, perseverance. Um, she is an educator in a local school there, but uh, and she still actually works um, as an educator uh, because she likes it so much. So she's been a great example, and my late father as well, who, who's... Uh, who, who was a great example. Um, thank you, Lev, Dr. Kavzanovich, for being here, for those kind words, and, and his wife for being here. You've been a great colleague, um, research collaborator, uh, sounding board for the past 30 years. Actually, we met uh, 1989 in a uh, undergraduate class uh, when he first got here. And uh, it's been a great time of collaboration to have someone to bounce ideas off of. Uh, a little bit about Professor Berenberg um, and his meaning and impact to me. Um, and and uh, I'd like to acknowledge Nancy Berenberg um, uh, and, and her kindness to me when I was a student and as well as a professor, encouraging, hospitable, all those uh, words are very descriptive of her and, and her husband, Ernie. And, um, and really, again, I wanna thank the donors who made this professorship possible. Uh, professor Berenberg, um, I heard about him as an undergrad summer intern because I grew up outside of Springfield and they were talking about this professor here who was innovative and would take new challenges on and do things other people didn't do. And I wanted to, and I, they said, you should meet him. And so I, I made an appointment my senior year and he told me, yeah, you can work in the lab. I've got this new project. We're gonna try to build this taxiway without any joints and over, we're gonna do it overnight and uh, we're gonna post tension it and use some new materials, fiber reinforced concrete and shrinkage compensating cement. And uh, that sounded fun to me. And so um, went into the lab and uh, I think the, after the first couple of months, I, I was mixing some uh, new, this new type of cement and uh, it started setting up in the mixer. And I was really thought he was gonna fire me. 
because this is an expensive piece of equipment that was getting ruined. And he just said, oh, well, I think they sent us the wrong stuff and no big deal. We'll get it fixed. And and so that's the kind of person he was. I, I thought it was the end of my career with him, but it actually wasn't a big deal. Um, and part of that is just letting students explore and make mistakes. Uh, that's how you learn. And uh, I appreciate that from him. Um, he actually encouraged me to go to grad school when I really actually didn't know what I was going to be doing. And um, he, we had multiple conversations in grad school about I should stick around for a PhD. And I kept thinking, I really don't think I want to do that. And uh, eventually he got me to say yes. And then I regretted it, but didn't tell him that. <laughs> um, I never thought I'd want to be a professor or do research long term. Uh, but um, if I did, I thought, well, I want to be like Professor Berenberg. He he was a great uh, demonstrated advisor of how he treated people, how he thought, how he did research. And I thought uh, that's, that's how I want to be when, if I ever do become a professor. So I'm very honored to be the first inaugural professor in his name. A couple other people to thank. I'll make it quick. Uh, Barry Dempsey, uh, for many reasons, uh, Barry, I, I like to thank him. He's coached me for 25 years um, and uh, encouraged me and uh, I really thank him for that. Uh, he keeps in contact with me. I don't contact him a lot, but he calls me or sends me an email and wants to meet and ask me how it's going. So thank you, Barry. Um, and it, he also has always pushed me to think about high-risk transformational research. And uh, he did a lot of that in his career, and it was encouraging to me. Uh, another person that many of you know, Marshall Thompson. I don't know where he is. Yeah. Many of you know him. Um, he's probably my most daily contact point in the hallway for research discussions. He likes asphalt. I like concrete. But we, we have some nice conversations quite frequently. And it's been a joy uh, talking with him every day. Um, I'd like to thank Amadi Alcadi, who's been a long con a friend and research collaborator. I think he'll be at dinner, but I don't think he's here right now. Um, but he's been a joy to work with. And there's many other of my transportation colleagues here. Um, that um, I don't want to forget somebody that's here, but thank you. You've been a, a really pleasant group to work with, uh, talking about research, asking questions about teaching, um, and that really makes it easy to come to work every day uh, when you really can enjoy the people you're around and think openly about ideas. Uh, there's a lot of construction material faculty that I've interacted with, Professor Lang, Professor Popovich over the years, Professor Glaucio here, uh, I wanted to mention, he helped me pursue excellence early on in my career uh, by interacting with him on his uh, cohesive zone modeling and fracture. So thank you, Glaucio. You, you were uh, great to work with. Um, I was appointed associate head by Benito, so I want to thank him for, tr uh, for many reasons, trusting me. I didn't know why he appointed me at the time. Uh, it seemed like a sentence, but... Uh, <laughs> As uh, I saw Professor Barenberg did it four years, I've done it eight, so. But thank you, Benito, for having trust in me and, and really giving me a lot of freedom to continue doing research, but also um, um, just uh, uh, have, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Um, and also all the other associate heads that I've worked with, Professor Lou Lefebvre and John Popovics and, and uh, interim head Al Volokli when he was there. Uh, I'd like to thank the staff also who, who made my job easier so I could do research, particularly uh, the people that work, I work with pretty regularly, Joan Christian, Megan Everett, Mindy Calcano, and uh, Meg Griffin, and all the rest of the colleagues in the department I see here. I, um, I, I, I do really, when we have great colleagues, our students thrive, and it makes kind of our job as researchers a little bit easier because they're learning things from other faculty in the department and in the college. Uh, finally, uh, and last but definitely not least are the grad students, um, as was mentioned by my previous two colleagues. Um, they're definitely uh, the most important in, in what we do. And so my so some of my grad students are back there. Raise your hand, wave. Um, thank you for uh, the current students and the past students who we spend time together talking about ideas, openly discussing, challenging uh, new things. and. Uh, it's, that's the real joyful part about this job, is watching talented students grow and mature and go out, go out and make an impact. Uh, I mean, we, we enjoy what we do, but it's also great to see other students go out and do things that amaze you. And um, as I close out, there's a lot of still exciting things to do in research, so I'm grateful for this uh, professorship. Um, 
I like to think about uh, autonomous vehicles now and how we can how cars in the road can talk through passive material sensors. So that that's kind of exciting. Um, there's also the urban heat island that Professor Masood was on my PhD committee. He he put a, did a lot of great comments for us. Um, that's another exciting topic of how civil engineers and material engineers can actually impact inner city heat island effects. And then another one we recently have great colleague, Professor Garg, where we're uh, trying to use municipal solid waste ash that where they're burning garbage essentially. Where do we put that in, in the roads and airfields and, and use it as a resource and a commercial product to actually get rid of, get rid of waste? So that, that's, uh, there's a lot of questions still. I, think, I don't think we'll run out of questions and problems. And uh, finally, for a long time joke with a, a bunch of my community friends, they always say, um, they always ask whether I work at all at the university. Uh, and, uh, and really the answer is I have so much fun it never seems like work. <laughs> so thank you all. Well, thank you, Jeff, for your remarks and congratulations again. So uh, please, all of you, join me in another round of applause for the three awardees.